What's up, everyone? It's Cameron, and let's talk about review images in our listings again. Let's revisit this, because now it's a lot easier to use. Review images for your listings on Marketplace. So, <sighs> beforehand, what we would have to do is we would actually have to sit there and like copy and paste and like save things. Look, I'm gonna go into this air fryer really quick and I'm gonna go down and try to find all of its stupid review images. I picked this air fryer because I own this air fryer and this is the only prep I did for this video. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to find a list a listing on Amazon, right? We go to Amazon, find this product, scroll all the way down like I just did, see all customer review images or whatever, customer images, pictures, whatever. Anyway, here's a bunch of people cooking tater tots and chicken inside of an air fryer. It's literally all chicken and tater tots. That's all air fryers are for. If you cook anything else in them, they break. That's not real. Anyway, oh, asparagus and a pizza, chips. Okay, either way though, what you would normally do, back to being serious, is if you wanted to list this as if you were an actual person selling something and not just selling like a white background stock photo kind of thing, you would come in here and you'd be like, okay, I kinda like, I don't know, this one. And you'd have to, you can't really even like copy, you, I don't even think you can really save this. It saves it as like one of those like web images. Maybe it's different now, but like in the past, I actually had, would have to go in with my stupid little snippet tool and I'd have to be like, huh, I want it like this. This is what I want. And then it still wouldn't be a square because there'd be like stupid, things. I don't know if what I'm about to talk to you about fixes that part, but either way, it was a pain because you'd have to come in here and get review images from everything. And then, you know, I'd come in here and be like, I think this will definitely sell this product, this gross pizza. And then we'd, we'd come in here and snip this pizza out. This cool <laughs> grilled cheese sandwich. Anyway, you'd have to come in here and find these images. Long story short. And then you have to paste them, you have to save them and upload them to your marketplace listing and do it that way. And then basically copy paste the rest of it. Or I suppose you could use a software like FBM Fox or something and, you know, upload all the info and then just go change the photos. That'd probably be what I would do. I think I think I did that like once or twice when I was making videos before on this subject, but um, I don't really do this that often. So, but I might have more sales if I did. I might have more sales if I did use review images, which we've all talked about. Anyway, now you can just auto upload an item like this air fryer, if I scroll all the way back up. And this is about FBM Fox, you knew it was. FBM Fox is a lister tool that that's what these buttons are. So instead of me coming in and copy pasting everything and then going to a marketplace list and look at this, look how stupid this is, it's just cars. It's just cars and this fake image with like whatever the hell's going on right here. Anyway, let's go to create new listing, item for sale. You know, once it loads. God. And then and then you'd have to come in here and like paste stuff. And it's just a mess and you have to like get rid of, you know, it, it's just a pain in the ass. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that anymore, even though some of you guys do it. That's fine. Anyway, now what's kind of cool is that you can just hit save to FBM Fox. And I haven't done this yet. I've I've kind of watched their video and just I didn't I really like I'm just kind of seeing how much this is usable for like a person like me who's super lazy and sometimes dumb. Sometimes save to FBM Fox. Look at this. It just brings up all the pictures and you can use whatever ones you want. Like if I want to use this one and this one and then this one of the pizza and then this one with some asparagus on it and then maybe this one because it's actually a good little photo of it. And this one has a gross picture of all the buttons because they didn't take the little plastic thing off or they're just disgusting. Um, this one's nice because it does show all the buttons pretty clean. Hopefully they took that right after opening it. And maybe this one because it shows the inside. What the hell? Do oh, somebody's showing it broken right there. Okay, and then somebody just wants to show the reflection of their phone. So let's do that. Also, if you didn't want to use any of these and this video pop, er, this uh, little grid pops up with all the photos, um, you can actually, this says zero. If you don't have any selected, you can see it goes down as I deselect photos. Um, you would just hit copy zero images and then it would just upload the defaults for you. But let's go ahead and do copy seven images. Hell yeah. And then here's where I don't know what happens next. 
Can I just hit list now? Normally hitting list now just auto does these things. But now that I've saved stuff and it's saved to FBM box, can I just list now? We'll see. If not, then what, then I know how to do it, but I just want to see if the list now thing does it. No, there's no way. Oh, it does. I thought I did more. Oh, so it does the uh, the defaults and the images. And then you can just come in here and get rid of the, the defaults if you want. Okay, that's actually really easy. <laughs> so um, it doesn't, of course, save the video. I don't really think softwares do the videos yet where you can come in here and like, you know. Introducing the new Brio Digital Air. Yeah, so none of that. But um, it does, and a lot of you guys still tell me you don't even have the video option. My video, video that talks about uploading videos to your marketplace listings from a while back. I still get comments every week or every day. I don't know, pretty often about people being like, um, I don't have that button. And then I'm like, okay, I didn't say you would. Everybody's marketplace is different. Stop crying at me. God, they're like offended that I even mention that this exists because no, I'm wrong. They don't have it. It's like, okay, go away. Anyway, boom. There's this. I will, you know, I'm actually, I'm just going to list it. I'm going to list it and see what happens. Um, how much is this on Amazon? I'm assuming it's 75 bucks because I don't have a markup put on automatically. Cool. Um, 75 bucks. You know what? I'm going to sell this bad boy for $99. Boom. And I think it actually is $99 normally. Yeah, because right now there's a Cyber Monday deal because this video is filmed on Cyber Monday. Dumb. Okay, let's scroll through here. You know what? Healthy, healthy fried food. <laughs> God, us Americans love stupid fried food. Okay. There's the universal noise for I'm doing something. Um, for over two decades, we have truly lived. Shut the hell up. Okay. Sweet. I am, even though it copy pasted all that for me um, because of the, the character limit. I'm going to go ahead and... See, like, I don't need all this crap in here. 75. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make that my title. Cool. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to put... I'm going to put... Okay, never mind. Emoji. Okay. <laughs> Heat. Hell yeah. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I don't know. I'm not going to do an emoji. I'm not going to do an emoji for this. Okay. Uh, deep fryers and air fryers category. Fantastic. I'm going to say I've got like 12 of them. Um, what is this? Oh, make sure you're stupid looking at this stuff. Get rid of that. All right. Cooker capacity, 725 quart. Let's just call it a seven. Product tags. Ooh, I've got tags again. I They just come and go. Who knows? Let's embrace the tags. Air fryer. Air fryer with no space. 7.25 quart. Digital. Air fryer. New wave. Appliance. I don't know. Air fryer. I, I don't know. It's an air fryer. Basket. Uh, fryer. I'm even going to do fryer. And if you were to spell fryer wrong, how would you spell it? Um, air fryer. Air fryer. For the people who spell it wrong. Maybe it works. Okay. Um, sweet. We're just going to leave it there. I'm not going to type in more. What is this plus sign for? Anyway. Hide from my friends because I don't want my friends to know I'm selling an air fryer, even though I actually own this air fryer or a version of it. I don't know if I still have that exact one. Um, I'm going to put um, Los Angeles. No. So I'm going to put that I live in Chicago. Cool. Even though I don't. And I'm going to hit shipping only. And I'm not going to use a prepaid shipping label. I'm going to use my own shipping label because this is dumb. We don't do this. We use our own shipping label. Using the prepaid means that Facebook's going to generate a label for you, which doesn't make any sense because you're going to get it from Amazon and they're going to generate a label for you. And then the payment, the, the customer's going to pay for a shipping label and it's going to be a whole damn thing. You're not doing that. No. Okay. Base shipping rate. 
I'm gonna do free. I'm just gonna do free on this one. Even though I normally I would do like 10 bucks or something or five bucks maybe. I'm gonna do zero just so that I can click this turn on free shipping for buyers. And you know, if it gets a sale, it's not gonna be a bunch of money. It's not gonna be a bunch of profit, but uh, I just, I didn't even anticipate getting this far and actually listing this in front of you. So we're just gonna do it. List, list you damn, you bastard. All right, create another listing in appliances. Ever tried, why are you giving me tips? I don't need your tips. Go away. All right, and if you've made it this far, look at this. I've got this right here. Boom, it's a cryptocurrency commemorative coin collection. I put a little rocket on there because you know how you guys talk about stuff. Anyway, I've sold a few of these things, just so you know. A little free item tip in here if you want. These little um, fake cryptocurrency coins that you can just like have as gifts, gift gag gifts for things for people. Anyway, where am I at? That's that's it. That is FBM Fox has just created an easy way to do review photos. I'm sure to you guys, it doesn't sound that hard. I don't know how hard it is. I don't code stuff. But anyway, FBM Fox link is in the description. By the way, if you've made it this far, this is also included in the free plans. So it's just a new feature of FBM Fox. You can use it whatever plan you got. If you haven't tried FBM Fox yet, there's a free trial and a free lister tool. Feel free to use my code down in the description, even if you get something free, because then if you ever decide to pay for it, just think ahead because it's got a lot of cool stuff that I didn't talk about in this video, but I've talked about in other videos that are for the paid plans that you that are insane. They just keep track of everything for you and make life hell of a lot easier. Drop shipping on Facebook. If my code's already typed in, then you get the discount later. So that's why I bring that up. That way you don't have to like go back and be like, ah, oh, crap, didn't somebody have a discount? But didn't somebody have a code I could use to give me a discount? Dang, let me go find that. I don't remember. I watched this video one time and only made it three minutes in. So... Just type in my code. It's Cameron10, all lowercase. It's also in my description. And the link is in my description. Should just carry it in also. I don't know. I don't care. That's FBM Fox. Thank you so much. By the way, if you want to know how you can support my channel, support me in these, in these times, in these rough times, you can like and subscribe. Comment down below if this is something that you'd even use. Comment down below if you even use review images. Who knows, man? You might not even care about this. Also, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. You guys, I said I'd see you next time. Why are you still watching me? Stop. I'm done with you. I'm getting back to work now. Okay. I'm getting back to work. I got stuff to do. I'm changing my resolution back to 2560 by 1080 because I have to change it to normal 1080 by 1920 just to record screens for you guys. So then I have to change it back. And then I have this lav mic on that I got to like turn off so that you guys can't hear me anymore. And I have this light and this camera. I got to get up, turn it off transfer all the footage to my computer and then edit it and it's going to take me like 30 minutes and then i gotta upload it to youtube which takes another like hour and a half oh it's already 12 30 that means this video is not going to come out until like three maybe maybe not anyway <laughs> it's a wasting time now all right thanks so much for watching and officially we'll see you next time